Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem and welcome back to another episode, folks. So, I'm a bit heavy right now. Um, I've just emptied out all of the stuff that I don't need, which I normally place into the industrial grinder. And then, normally, I break them down and obviously turn them into the core resources. But, before we get into the episode, first things first, I wanted to say a bit of an apology for the previous episode, simply because, um, as I was doing the missions, while I did record them and my... I had full intention of adding the bits of recordings into the episode. Something happened with the recordings themselves, and so they were corrupted. I mean, for some odd reason, it seemed that the files were corrupted for those particular missions that I was doing. And uh, whilst it did work, basically the software, for some odd reason... Uh, ended up crashing every single time so I didn't really manage to do much with them apart from just kind of like the beginning so that's pr and even that was in itself corrupted but I did manage to put a bit in it just to give the idea uh, of what I was working on unfortunately I couldn't show much of the mission so it is a bit sad but it is what it is I did want to show more off but unfortunately it didn't really work out the way I wanted to anyways we are back in today, so I'm basically just emptying out the industrial grinder because I was putting in a lot of stuff. It ended up kind of gathering with time. So this is stuff that I normally find around the world or pick out um, out of the drops. And so I don't need them. I'm never going to make any use of them. So I just chuck them in the industrial grinder, break them down for the core resources. I do have some stuff here that I won't really need, so the clay is something I'm never going to use. So, of course, that's going to end up getting thrown away. And so, yeah, this is how I've kind of gathered all of these resources that you guys see here. I mean, it isn't a lot. I could do better, and I guess with time, I will end up getting more stuff. I think today, what I want to do later in this episode is I want to take the mech into Rockwell's innards. And I want to pick a fight with all of the summoners, I think they're called. And just to see how that works out. But first things first, of course, we got to finish this. We got some sand there. Again, something I don't really need. Uh, that is more useful for Scorched Earth, unfortunately. Um, on Scorched Earth, it's kind of cool, uh, but annoying at the same time. So, obviously, for those that have played... On Scorched Earth, if you build your base out of metal, you end up cooking in it alive. So you have to use the adobe, which is kind of cool, but of course, unnecessary here. And I think later, not necessarily in this episode, but I do have a underwater base that I started working on. It probably ran out of power, so nothing's been actually done to it. Um, but I do want to work on that and set up the underwater part of the base. So I, in itself, I, I would say that this is the, um, I'd call this the main base. And I think we're going to use a teleporter pad to get to Rockwell's innards. Uh, first things first, I want to take the mech there. I want to build some weapons for the mech. And then just kind of have a bit of fun in uh, Rockwell's innards. We'll see how that works out. I did play with the mech in the water biome. Uh, not so much like the deep end. But I do, I do know <laughs> it will sink and then will not get back to the top. So it doesn't swim. So we're not going to take the mech in the underwater biome just for that reason. Uh, yeah. I can see a lot of problems there. I, I suppose I could probably pick it up with a cryopod. But that's besides the point. Yeah. Okay, um, I've got everything that I need. Uh, so, quick little run. We're going to do uh, some drops. We'll see what we get out of them. What we don't need, of course, will go in the industrial grinder. going to pick up some drops. Uh, normally what I like to do is I like to fly this Eden biome, do a couple of laps, and then have a look at the loot drops. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to be picky with regards to what I take with me, just because some stuff is heavy. But if it's stuff that I can break down and um, has, uh, I, let's say, we get loads of metal from, or we can get black pearls from, or stuff like that, then I definitely will pick it up, or will try to, depending on how important stuff is. Of course, base items, that's the other thing I'm looking for. 
we definitely want us uh, some of those stuff. I, that's how I ended up with so many forges and stuff. So there's one right there in front of us, but I'm trying to do like map of the earth because that's kind of cool. I've never done that with a wyvern. And I don't, I don't think I actually ever realized how fast these things actually can be when they fly at full speed. Right now, this is kind of cool. Totally liking this. I totally feel like a badass right now. <laughs> right, let's go and see what this has to offer. And we're going to land right next to it. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Anything dangerous? Don't see anything. Quickly. Oop, loot this. We are on the ground. Do not like that. We have some blood packs here. Those could be useful. I did have some blood packs stored in the fridges, but unfortunately they all kind of expired. So, yeah. Do you know what? Um, nah, never mind. Well, uh, I know I had a... What's that spider thing called? And I know I had loads, loads of blood packs in... Actually, thinking that, I'm, I know I had loads of creatures that... Or maybe I dreamt it, but uh, yeah. Uh, I know I had loads of creatures that I don't seem to have anymore. And I only recently figured this one out. Uh, when I was looking through... All of the cryopods... When I was trying to find if I had a mech, because uh, I'm pretty sure I had a mech at some point somewhere. Unless I dreamt it. I could have possibly dreamt it, but I'm sure I had more stuff than that. Anyways, sometimes things happen. Maybe maybe I had stuff on single player, but I haven't really touched single player in a long time. So maybe that's where it was. Maybe that's where it still is. Who knows? At the moment, we just doing the drops. Okay. Uh, everything is pretty much tucked away. I'm getting ready to go over to the Rockwell side. So we're going to craft loads of weapons for our mech. So we're going to go for the cannon. So we need loads of cannon shells. I have loads of materials for that. So let's see where that is. There we go. So we're just going to craft everything that we can. Again, see, I think these... Oh, it's being really weird right now. I'm not sure how this is working. Wow. That was lucky. That was really weird. Anyways, let's drop off the cementing paste. And we've got the cannon on us. We're going to pick up the cannon shells. Okay, so that's the ammo for the cannon. I don't know how much I made, but... I'm going to pick this up and uh, we're going to put them, actually we're going to carry them and I'm going to make my way to the Rockwell side. First plan is to go and have a bit of fun in Rockwell's innards. That's where I want to fight off some summoners. I think this thing could be pretty good for that. Although I do also think I can probably end up in a situation where I'm overwhelmed. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that we can get out of that without losing the mech. It would really suck if we do lose the mech. And so far, it seems like I'm able to carry all these cannons, uh, cannon shells. I think that's what they're called. Well, yeah, cannon shell. It says on it, Jesus Christ. Anyways, uh, we are going to have to use the sprint function on our suit to actually move about now no i don't really know how i'm gonna get there but i'm thinking if i cryopod the mech and then just pull it out once we get to the rockwell's garden bit i think that's kind of the plan i'm probably gonna make a mistake somewhere but hopefully nothing too big i do have a giga in a cryopod with me so let's get rid of this for now we don't really have any use for you. And come on. Oh yeah, Gee, I just realized I should take some food with me just because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. And uh, yeah, we don't really want to end up starving. So we'll pick up some food. We'll pick up some uh, more element just in case. So let's grab a handful of element. That's that. And... There's some food.
food right here for us. I'll grab a couple of stacks of these. I think we should be ready. So I'm ready to cryopod this guy. Uh, I'll have to take up the element off of him so we don't lose it. Because uh, normally, well, normally it drops it. So, oh, okay, that didn't work that way. <laughs> All right, I was trying to run with the cryopod in my hand. Did not work out the way I wanted it. I don't even know why I thought that would work, knowing the game. Whoops, do not want to do that. So, let's pick up you. And this is going to take... Actually, oh, I forgot something about you. That's what. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to pick up the bag. I don't really want to lose the element. Element is valuable. It does have multi-purposes for us. At least here. So, I think I'm going to basically... We do have the ramps. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the base. Normally, if you fall and then engage the jump with your character whilst over encumbered like I am you can normally kinda just fly about hover about so that should be good so what I have to do is I basically have to exit the base and find a little cliff to jump off of and so obviously the base being high there's a good enough cliff that we can pick up on or get up on <coughs> excuse me more and then jump off of that yeah, so let's go to this edge. See if I can do this. Okay, there's this side. Oh, here. Alright, well, we'll just go on the other side then. Alright, slowly making my way here. So this is what I meant. I am over encumbered, but it is working for us. The only thing I need not to do is touch the ground. Just, just pretend the floor is lava, basically, what we're playing at. Yeah, see, right now I'm having a bit of a problem, and the problem is I'm gaining altitude and not uh, really able to lose it, so it's fine. Well, let's get to the other end, and we'll figure it out there. So once we get to the other end, uh, that'll be fine. Hopefully we don't really aggro any wyverns or anything. Void worms, not wyverns, void worms, that's what they're called. Uh, hopefully we don't now go any void worms here, so otherwise it'll suck for us <laughs> really badly. I could probably no, I don't think I could kill it before it gets to me. Or maybe I could fly about and just kind of shoot it until it pretty much dies. But no, that, that's that's a trouble I don't want to get into. So just quickly get over here and then I have to figure out a way down here. Okay, we're not moving. Well, we have lost some altitude. I don't know how I managed to do that. Okay. Maybe if I take the mech out of the cryopod, maybe I can mount it, sort of speaking. No, that's a problem. I should have thrown it above me. Whoops. <sighs> so, that was a bad decision right there, folks. Slightly frustrated with it. Um, so what happened is I ended up having to throw some of the cannon shells that I was carrying away. And of course, when you throw them in space or in a space biome, anything you throw tends to fall to the ground. Obviously, by the time I got to my mech, I mean, I lost a lot of cannon shells there, basically. You know, by the time I got to my mech and then um, tried to cryopod it and go back down and pick up the shells, that really wasn't going to work. So basically I just ended up wasting a lot of resources, so I find that quite frustrating. So what I'm going to do is, before I even go into the biome itself with the mech, I am going to set up a uh, a little fob. We'll call it a fob, because this is what this is. We're not really going to have it as a full-on base. Mm, at this point, at least, anyways. So we'll put all the shells on you. We'll ha we have loads of elements, so we'll load you up with element. Once I set up my little fob here, we can then go in there. Maybe we start building up this fob. Maybe we turn it into a little base. I don't know. This thing looks so cool. I need to figure out how to use the cannon on the back. Uh, that's something I've not done in a long time. But I think I'm going to keep the mech for most of it. 
right here. So I think this is big enough for me to have a little base on this end. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. So right now I'm trying to figure out how to actually use the cannon, which kind of sucks because I forgot. All right, here are folks. Uh, this is taking a while, but we have actually sort of set up a little makeshift, not, not even a makeshift, but temporary base. I might have to shift stuff about later on, but this is just for me to be able to get between this biome and my main base really quickly. I think that kind of helps out quite a bit. So first things first, we're going to call this uh, the Seth Rockwell FOB base. Fob, um, we'll call it a fob. Yeah. I just realized, hold on a bit. <sighs> Typo. Right, I misspelled Rockwell. Silly me. Right, let's do this properly. Okay, Rockwell. There we go. Fob. Perfect. Now we power this thing. Put a bit of element in there and uh, i'll go and grab some stuff from my base start setting them up um this will take a while so i'll probably see you guys once i'm ready and then we'll basically go into the inners but i do want to show this first initiation transport let's call it that it's you know this is basically the first time we transport from one place to the other and boy is uh it taking a while I'm guessing it's probably because the map itself is kind of huge, and in all fairness, it is actually absolutely massive anyways, if you think about it, to be honest, so, yeah. There we are, back at base, I'll go and pick up some stuff, we will put down a vault, a bed, and some other uh, small necessities, maybe a fridge as well, because we do have a um, generator, let's turn this thing off because it's annoying. It'll use up stuff that we don't really want it to do. Alright, we have set up a turret here. I did have some element shards on me. Not a lot, but it'll do. It should keep things away. Not that there are any bad flyers in this area anyways, but it is what it is. We are fully loaded, ready to go. And I guess, here we go. Come on, Rockwell. I'm going to play with your innards. That sounds really wrong, but you know what I mean. Gonna poke your eyes out, your inner eyes out. Come on. So this is actually it does have a purpose, by the way. It's not just played for fun. I do want to see if this is actually quite efficient in here. Now we do know that they have quite a bit of health, these mechs, and of course we do have the cannon. So I'm trying to see if I pick a fight with the eyes. One, can I get away quickly enough? Two, can I actually take out the summoners? You know, that's what I meant. I'm going to call them floating eyes because that's pretty much what they are. They are basically like a flower with many eyes on them. All right, we are ready to go. I've been playing around. Not really fought anything just yet. I've killed a couple of little bugs and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is what we are. I think this will also be the thumbnail, maybe. But I think this looks so freaking cool. I'm really enjoying it. I just remembered, the more you fire with this... The hotter the feet, legs, and arms get. So this actually cause this to heat up. Anyways, let's go in. And there's a little author plural right there. Might as well get this little bug dealt with. So I'm taking it slow when I need to. Okay, we can fit through this. This is good. I mean, there are a couple of small little tiny holes that I won't fit this mech through, but so far, it seems to be able to go in most places. Alright. Now, normally there's loads of summoners right here. Oh, there's one right there. Anything attacking me? Oh, stupid spider. Go away. Sorted. Let's make a fight with that summoner. I'm looking forward to it. And, oh, we are going to miss it, that one, but this one's not going to. <laughs> right, so they do teleport, need to remember that. Let's try this out again. All right. 
we are taking a hit from something. We're getting hit by something. That probably sounds better. My English is really broken today. I do apologize for that, folks. Uh, right, we are fighting stuff. I don't. Okay, we, we can see what we're killing. These are things that the summoner is summoning. Alright, he's not got the shield up. Oh no, he's put it back up. So, we have to time it with when his shield is down. Uh, sometimes it is a bit confusing by the looks of it. So I'm waiting for his shield to go down. I think it's down now. Perfect. I mean, these guys have a lot of health. Right, we have a big Bronto, so we don't want this guy doing too much damage to us. Perfect. Let's try, let's try and swing a couple. Okay, so one summoner down. We took a bit of damage. Not that bad. Alright, we have been webbed. So, yeah, we took a bit of damage, as you can see. Not that bad. Right, I am picking a fight with multiple summoners right now. This is the test. I've been fighting them for quite some time, actually. And uh, what I've noticed is if I fight, like, so what I've done, right, let, let, let me just kind of give you a little background of what happened here. So I picked a fight with two summoners. Another one kind of jumped us. So we are now fighting three summoners. I did kill two of them, but it seems that by the time I do kill one or two, others spawn back in. So, yeah, so the, <laughs> the idea is don't pick a fight with multiple summoners because by the time you kill one, a good chance is that another one will be aggroed as it spawns in. It is fun though, the mech is lasting, although we are taking a bit of a beating right now and unfortunately the mech is not one for doing really good with regards to healing and yeah, there we go, we have the... Um, there we go. We get we do get set on fire, so I'm trying to... Now, I mean, the other thing that's fr kind of frustrating is these summoners do teleport about a bit, especially if they get too close to you. Ooh, there's my chance. So we took down another summoner. So, so far, I've actually been done quite well with regards to the summoners. I've killed quite a few. I think the big problem that I'm seeing right now so far is when you kill a summoner, there's a good chance that you may aggro another summoner. Once you've got two summoners, yeah, you can take them out, but by the time you kill another one uh, or one summoner, you will probably have two or more, one, well, at least one more summoner aggroed onto you. So, um, yeah, that's a possibility. So keep that in mind. Now, I think I can outrun these things. They don't seem to be particularly fast. So, yeah, definitely a bit of use for the mech here in this area. Although, to be honest, I'm not really sure what I would do with it. Maybe for transport purposes. You know, get from the entrance into the inner close to the, the heart. Rockwell's heart. I think that's probably the best use for it. And you, this is basically the pose it has when it has its cannon engaged. So what I did, I pretty much engaged the cannon and <laughs> got out of it. So it keeps the pose. I think that's well cool. So I'm going to leave it like this. Without said and done, that is pretty much the end of this episode, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. This was an interesting test. We got some interesting results. Especially when it comes to the summoners. So this thing is good at taking them out. However, if you do fight multiple summoners, by the time you kill one, another one will have spawned and re-aggroed onto you. So it ends up being one of those scenarios where you're just fighting summoners forever and ever. However, you can actually escape the summoners. So yeah, that's kind of good. So it has a lot of HP. It's really good. I think I'm going to do some more test runs and play around with this mech inside Rockwell's innards just to see what we can do with it. But I think it does have a good purpose around here. And you know what? I might end up building up a base here. But of course, that's going to be for the next episode. Until then, stay safe, folks.